And welcome, everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Nightfall aggro. Going to be our second deck of the day. Start off well with Zillion Swain. Let's get back at it with some Nightfall. Now, this is a kind of deck, Diana Nocturne, and all these Nightfall cards that I feel is a, a pretty strong deck. It's not an easy one to play. Just the, the keyword Nightfall is a kind of a difficult one to play because you really have to kind of plan out your rounds um, even ahead of time and figure out like what are you going to play first to enable your nightfall and then what are you playing afterwards and so on and so forth and and so it's not just it's not like like daybreak you put your one drop on turn one you play your two drop on turn two you play your three drop on turn three you know like that kind of stuff like it's daybreak super easy to play nightfall is kind of the opposite because you can't just play like your lunari shade stalker on round two right like you have to kind of set it up and get something else first and so how do you do that and, and everything like that it's it's tricky but I've always been very impressed with this deck, like playing against it, it always looks pretty good. So we're gonna try it ourselves and we'll see how we do. Yeah, I like I like the Lunar Shade Stalkers in here saying like maybe no Cygnus. I could see that. Like Cygnus, yeah, I'm not, I'm not too big of a fan of Cygnus, to be honest, but it's fine, it's just a one of. It's it's fine. But yeah, I think the Lunar Shade Stalker should do some good work. Alright, so playing against some uh, Spider Burn. Mulligan, Mulligan. We'll Mulligan the spells because we want to play to the board pretty early. This could definitely be a matchup where we just simply just play Lunari Shade Stalker as just a generic 2-3. I'd rather trade the 2-1 the with that than the Solari Soldier. Remember the objective. Make the Empire proud. Um, I guess I pass. I guess I pass. Bless the faithful and fear the heretics. <laughs> I don't think it's worth using the Pell Cascade to save that. Like that's, I saved the the mana for the Pell Cascade to see if we would want it, but now nah, let's just. It's either Dust plus Nocturne or Soldier plus Doom Beast. Not the easiest to decide. I guess we'll go Soldier, Doom Beast. I don't know. I kind of want to go Dusk. Dust Nocturne. We'll go Dust Nocturne. You prefer Moonlight Affliction over Cygnus? I wouldn't be mad at that one bit. And not the biggest fan of the, the Cygnus. I could even just see playing like the 5 4, honestly. I, I kind of do think the 5 4 is overrated. Just the, um, the 5 4, 5 mana, 5 4 overwhelm. That with Nightfall, you stun something twice. Could be better than Cygnus. Depends. Like Cygnus is like great on like round nine like, if you like find it and then like get that last thing like elusive, especially at Diana. Right. Like that's where it can really be. That's where it can really be great. Ours is the one true light. Got him. Oh, we just just trade theirs and everything, but I guess. They just don't have the cards to keep up. Okay, well, we'll take the win. Thrash Nassos. It's be interesting to see if we can handle Thrash Nassos going wide. I'm uh, not sure that we can. Uh, I like Duskbringer, Diana, Goat. The Shade Stalker. I can kind of take it or leave it. Since we got, like, you know, these other twos and everything, let's go ahead and leave the Shade Stalker. Okay. Okay, so, yeah. Usually, okay, so question is, like, what decks do Mono Targon invoke as an archetype you just stomp? Okay, so Mono Targon invoke is going to be good against... Um, 
you know, first of all, Targon Invoke is a slow is a slow process, right? But it has a real, you know, it has it can the gameplay like the games can last a it can uh, last a really long time because it doesn't run out of cards and um, it has really powerful top end cards with all the different invoke cards. Like they are usually pretty powerful. So basically, what you want. If, if you're trying, because my, my <laughs> those of y'all watching later on YouTube, the person that asked the question says that they have a friend that plays that kind of deck and they, they want, um, they want their friend to kind of win a little bit. They want to play a deck that's weaker to that. So if you're looking for a deck that's weaker to that kind of deck is you want a slow deck, right? Because you don't want to kill them right away, but also a slow deck with not necessarily a very powerful top end that's not going to outdo everything that the um, that's not going to like oh, you know it's not going to be more powerful than the invoke deck so you're kind of looking at like like slow mid-range decks are not going to be very good against that and so yeah kind of like your your so when we said like Swain Leviathan, yeah, like your Swain Leviathan is like a slower mid-range deck where they they do have very good answers to Leviathan. Um, theoretically, they should with cards like uh, like Equinox and stuff like that. But then also just like a slower like Demacia or Bilgewater um, kind of mid-range deck. Those can also be very useful. Like that, like that. That's that's kind of like what you want, right? Like that's if you want to have a deck that's, that's weak against Targon, that's probably what you're looking at. No more lies. So like like a Radiant Guardian deck, right? Like <laughs> like, like a slower Demacia Radiant Guardian deck. They should be able to have more power and take care of that matchup. Like an Undying deck. If you're playing the Undying, they can have Equinoxes, Equinox and Hush and stuff like that. But, but the Undying is like usually a slow process, no! right? So just so kind of think of that. Kind of think of um, slow mid rangey decks, but also not like really powerful top end stuff. You know, not like you, know, you don't want to be playing like a really insult against them. Kind of stuff you don't want like matron Cythria combo or like Lissandra um trundle combo like you know you don't want a really powerful top end so there you go hopefully that helps i'm just going to go with regular lunari shade stalker no we're gonna go gem here and then beast going gem first because i'm gonna try to have my three two be able to or my three one be able to trade with that four three Last round, I didn't block the like I didn't have my Doom Beast block the Spirit Leech, so that because my Nocturne is at two out of five, so that I, I attack with all of these and we level up the Nocturne. Okay, cool. I guess that will do. Got some opponents on, like, some trick, or some quick trigger fingers of, like, conceding in some of these games. We'll take it.
and then a bad day, then a really good day, and then a bad day. And now today's looking like a really good day again. So it's kind of been like this week. It's been like four, the last four days have been like good win rate, bad win rate, good win rate, bad win rate. Now we're back to good win rate. <laughs> Every other day. Uh, Zoe. So no Vi. Which I think is still pretty viable not playing that card. I think that's just fine. Like our hand. No round one Zoe. Pass the round. Never mind. Nothing. It is kind of the only way to lose to this deck is round one Zoe. <laughs> yeah. Why aren't we just skipping the bad days? Why, we... Why are we choosing to have bad days? You could just have only good days. Just scream every other day, and then we just win all the time. Yeah, surprised they don't have any Vi's. I don't think that Vi should be a 3 of in this deck. A lot of people play like 3 Zoe, 3 Vi, and I think it should. I think Vi, Vi should be like a 1 or a 2 of, and there can be some other champions also. There's just a lot of good champions in those decks, but I don't think Vi needs to be a 3 of. Alright, now let's see. Temperamental as movement. your own light within the darkness. Yours is a light I cherish, Moon Sister. So I think that Diana's gonna get Mystic Shot. So if, if Diana's going to get Mystic Shotted, there's no reason to challenge the Zoe and then it gets Mystic Shot, and then they, they have their 3-2 block my 5-3. Instead, we could challenge this. They Mystic Shot it. Okay. Yeah, if they don't Mystic Shot, that's cool. Like, we'll, like I'm kind of planning on racing them. So yeah, that, that still works just fine. I'm sure I don't have like an exact great answer to the Zoe right now, but we are looking good on board. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised, Pil like, either Pale Cascade, Pale Cascade or, like, the Sun Blessed Vigor. I wouldn't be surprised if they had either of those cards. Um. So if I play Crescent Guardian, Diana's then a 3-3, and so they gotta use something else, but they, they do have this gem. And they know they they know they can just use the gem. Where if I just So I guess I'll just keep so instead of doing that, cause I, yeah, because I play the Crescent Guardian, they just play gem. And they kill Diana. So instead I'll have Pill Cascade protect it. And therefore they gotta do an additional two points of damage. tried to blind me with resplendence, but they could not break me! Cool. Found another Diana. That's pretty cool for me, but they it's super cool for them. Cool for everybody. Even a 
Hiding. It's a good, good crescent strike. That was a good crescent strike. Play a bunch of Doom Beasts. I think we're at the Doom Beast part of the game. Danger Noodle. Danger Noodle. Gonna grab their own pale cascade. You would have to imagine. Maybe they take stalking shadows. Just Zoe. So they are not playing Vi. Just Zoe. They may have just grabbed unspeakable horror, honestly. Hoping they can't save it for one mana. Alright, very good. Gem? Did they just grab gem? Like, like gem? For reals? And that thing's a 3 2. Right, that's why. Alright, that's fine. Alright, that thing can block fearsome. So that still kills them. So the onus is on them to do something. But then we will have um, a few Doom Beast abilities. Just, just a few. They have no mana left. What happened? Wait, why is... What actually happened there? Something weird happened whenever... Like, why is Diana dead? Diana had the quick attack. What happened when it did, like, the disconnect? Yeah, like, they they were at... Oh, it got hushed? Was there a hush in here? It had to have been hushed, right? Because, yeah, they, they're at more life than what they should have. There's got to be a hush in there.
Oh, that one's ephemeral. I decided two Crescent Guardians and I was going to play them both. Oh, right, well, that one was, was a waste. I'm a little scared of what they can play, like if I go Nocturne first. Does Targon ever die? Alright, they're drawing their cards. Believe or burn. Put them to negative three. So a mystic shot on Doom Beast, they still die. That puts them to negative one. That puts them to positive one. Nightfall. Yeah, we'll we'll play. Yeah, we're gonna play Nocturne for the other one, and then you would have Unspeakable Horror for the Nexus if they did have another Guiding Touch there. All right, finally got him. Irelia Azir. All right, facing some aggro. Let's see if we can keep up. Last season's aggro. V new season aggro. All right, we're gonna mulligan these three. All three are awesome cards, which is kind of weird to mulligan then, but they're difficult to, to enable, right? Because they're nightfall cards that are kind of expensive. So we kind of need some more enablers. This deck's the new Twisted Fate Fizz. I could see that. Yeah, that, that works. That works. Oh, you're just saying just in, in general Azir is the new Twisted Fate in terms of power level. I don't think so. Hey, Krabby. That's my resting face. Basically, the, what makes Twisted Fate so good is just the versatility. Azir doesn't have that versatility, right? Like, they're they're kind of different cards. It's like Aphelios was the new Azir, like whenever Aphelios was printed. That works. Azir is like the new Draven. I guess. Darkness hides in my path. Alright, got some elusive blockers. I mean, I wouldn't say that Azir just fits in so many decks. I mean, I guess it... It's like in this deck and then like the Noxus aggro, but that's kind of a that's Steady your heart. about it. Your feet. Well, we don't play defense. I guess I could have the goat block like the sand soldier to save two life and get a gem. Huh. Yeah, I mean, I, I guess. That hurts. That hurts a lot. Our 
Yeah, that card's awesome. That syncopation, that got me pretty good. Like, no matter what blocks I make, I think I'd die, I guess. No, I guess I have to block with this and keep this alive with Pale Cascade. Okay. So that will allow me to go to four, and then I can have six blockers for six attackers. I can play this other, other the flight, okay. Because each, each attacker, because they're going six wide, they're all lethal attackers. Yeah, that that's how we can survive. Onward, golden warriors. Yeah, if if I would choose anything to nerf in this deck, honestly, because I think you, you want like you want like this kind of strat like you know, you want like aggro decks and like this kind of deck to be like viable and, and everything like that. The one card I would nerf is honestly it's not Green Glade Duo, it's honestly this inspiring marshal. I would make this one it shouldn't shouldn't really be a four six, but the plus two plus zero is kind of unreasonable for this card. Um, you know, I just have this be plus one, plus zero instead of plus two, and then maybe like a four or five with plus one. This is the card that I'd actually target to be nerfed in this deck. And so it's still, you know, it wouldn't kill the deck, right? Like, you'd still do all this crazy cool Green Glade Duo and Emperor's Dias and Azir and all the other crazy cool stuff, because, you know, you don't want to kill decks. But that's the card that I would nerf. We will resist. And that's what I do. I just make this plus one, plus zero, not not plus two. And then maybe also maybe also like a four or five instead of a four six. So they are at six right now. The moon is our queen. The night, her kingdom. Just gotta really hope they don't have any more blade dance stuff, right? They have more blade dance stuff. We're in in trouble if if they don't. We probably win. Why? Alright, so one of you block. Alright, well. Down to one. They really can't have another Blade Dance Garden. All beauty is transient. The Solari brought this bloodshed upon themselves. This war is old as Solari and Lunari alike. No blade dance and we win. And no no homecoming. No blade dance. Well, they had homecoming. Um That's... So just got top tech unspeakable horror, I think. That's about the only out now, because they, they get to lead the round with this. Which, yes, please block like that. No, go back and block the other way. Block the overwhelm unit. Alright, let's top tech unspeakable horror. I think that's my only out. The desert by my side. Unspeakable horror. Mmm. Not quite. So they just gotta mess up. They didn't mess up. I just wanna feel like I should have won. 
blocked. I need to do some more blocking earlier. Sand soldiers. And Draven Ezreal for our last one. So super close game there. Let's see how we do against Draven Ezreal. Yeah, I like this. Yeah, it's true. Trundle was a 4-6 and got, got nerfed to a 4-5. Um, Vi had 5 health with Toph and got nerfed to um, nerfed to 4 health with Toph. So we got a good four damage in. Keep trying to put pressure on them. So the Thermo is doing 3 damage. Hopefully it gets something with 2 or less health, like a 3-2. Or a 2-2. Now a 3-3. And that has a summon grip. Man, what a great hit. Yeah, that's a great hit. I'll still attack with everything if they block... Yeah, I was going to say, if they block a 2-1, they still take a bunch of damage. So. Okay, down to nine. I like that we have the Stalking Shadows. Certainly like that we have Doom Beast. But that was a great hit for them. Yeah, they can just get like 6-6 six, six Draven or 4-5. Four, 4-6. Four, Ezreal. 11-11 11, 11, Captain Farron. Time for a true display of skill. Wow, we whiffed? Mother we whiffed? We whiffed. Temperamental as That's not good. But we whiffed. All enemies minus one minus zero this round. So assuming they kill Nocturne, because they kind of have to. Man, they have so many cards in hand. I really wish that our Stalking Shadows didn't whiff. And then we had two other cards in hand. Yeah, I mean, Azir is the best card in the Aurelia Azir deck. Yes, Azir is the best card, but that doesn't mean you have to nerf the, the best card. Right, you don't want to just always nerf every single champion. Like if, if a champ, like, I think Azir is is okay. Like changing the level up condition, I'd also be perfectly fine with. You know, making it like where it's summon X sand soldiers or ICU summon X units instead of just summon X units. Um, I'd be perfectly fine with that too. But um, just as we saw with like like Thresh Nasus, like right, like the like Nasus, right, like Thresh Nasus, like those champions are amazing. Especially like Nasus is the thing that's like winning all the games, but they still they nerfed. You know, Atrocity and um, the other card. Okay. So they're at seven. Okay, so they'll they'll use the Spinning Axe on the Draven. They'll block Nocturne, but they should still take five, go down to two. They don't really have healing, and then hopefully Doom Beast next round can kill him. I vulnerable Ezreal because I was expecting them to kill the Nocturne, right? Like, that was my expectation was, like, they would kill Nocturne, so I wouldn't be able to attack with Nocturne. And so I was planning on having, like, the Doom Beast kill the Ezreal 
and then the Shade Stalker deal damage to them. That's what I was thinking I was going to be doing, but then they didn't kill Nocturne. And, and then, yeah, so... Yeah. Time for the main I didn't think that I would have that ability. Anybody in chat have some Teemo decks to recommend to Ninten Goons? Like, Saucy Mailman always plays Teemo decks a ton. Alright, we'll take that. So we'll take a 4 and 1, really, really close to a 5 and 0. Oh. That really is your matchup was super close. We got him down to 1. Alright, so yeah, I was still impressed with Nightfall Aggro. We played against a good gauntlet of decks. Draven Ezreal, um, Thresh Nasus, Irelia Azir. You know, like we, were, we were facing some good decks, and uh, it had some really good closing power, right? Just having um, Doom Beast with Stalking Shadows to get multiple Doom Beasts with Unto Dusk also gives you some really good reach. Um, of course, your Nocturne level up, giving everything fearsome, can allow you to attack for a bunch of damage in a singular round. Um, so yeah, this deck can really close out games pretty well. Then you got some decent card advantage, not only the Stalking Shadows, but also like Pale Cascade, um, also a very good card. So I liked it. The Shade Stalker and the Flight with the Elusives was pretty nice. You know, we played against some different Elusives, and like both of those having Elusive was um, was really nice. And then Onlooker doing a bunch of damage early. Um, yeah, I think our I think the deck just performs fairly well. We talked about like Cygnus. I'm not that big of a fan of Cygnus. Um, we did have Cygnus like that last round and honestly, like, so we only drew Cygnus one time and if the Cygnus was, yeah, I guess Cygnus did kind of cost us the game, I guess, if you think about it, right? Cause I think we talked about a, a replacement for Cygnus could be Moonlight Affliction. So somebody in chat said they like playing this instead of Cygnus. And if the Cygnus was Moonlight Affliction against a really Azir, we'd have to really go back and, and take a look at it cause I wasn't thinking about it at the time. But I wonder if we would have won, because we would have been able to play a couple of gems and then play this and silence two enemies and, and make it so they can't block this round. And so we would have been able to make that 4-6 uh, not be able to block and, you know, and then also one of their elusives. And with that 4-6 not being able to block, then our Crescent Guardian would have done a bunch of damage. But then, of course, they had Homecoming. But also just like the silence to not, not make those things like three ones. I don't know. We might have been able to win that one. If we would have had just like Moonlight Affliction open attack kind of thing. I'm not sure. We'd have to go back and check. But that's another option. Cygnus is not my favorite. So I get, basically, if, if you have any kind of like top end card that you really like in these regions, feel free to replace Cygnus and play that instead. Um, another option is the Cloven Way. Yeah, this is another option. You know, it gets the like the double stun. 5-4 overwhelms a pretty beefy body. Um, so that's another decent option too. Um, I wouldn't necessarily even mind just playing a third unspeakable horror. A lot of those games, like we just wanted like an unspeakable horror, either drain their nexus or there, there's a lot of one health units running around these days, you know, get, just get rid of a green glade duo, create another nightfall card. I wouldn't mind just getting rid of the sickness and just playing three on un, three unspeakable horror. I think that's perfectly fine. Also, um, yeah, I think that's, that's perfectly fine. So lots of, lots of different options you can have. That's, that's a flex slot, whatever you're comfortable with, feel free to play that, but um, but the rest of the deck felt pretty good. I really liked it a lot. Solari Soldier did well. Um, yeah, everything. Mountain Goat was awesome. So like these other these other two of they all were very good. So everything else did well. Anyway, those y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments. Let me know if this is a, a deck you enjoy. If you've been playing it yourself, how you like the list. Uh, if you got any good ideas for that last top end slot card, like you know what card would you play instead of Cygnus? Or would you play Cygnus? Is Cygnus awesome? You know, let me know uh, over in the comments. I'd be really interested to hear what you want for that slot. But that's going to be it here for Nightfall Aggro. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.